There's an emergency happening. He looked and he's like, it's on you! How much times did I get bit? Like five times. Oh, good job. Good job. All right. Daddy. You're next. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you want to go last. All right, good job, babe. Kiki, are you going to get a test too? No. <laughs> no, she's not old enough yet. All right, last but not least, Callie's turn. I know, this is your first test, Callie. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt. Not too bad, right? <laughs> What's poppin' T-Squad? Welcome back to the Rush Fam. Welcome back to another vlog! Oh, you trying to start the vlog with me? Oh my gosh, what happened to your face? What is that? What were you snacking on? You guys, lately, Kira has been helping herself to snacks. I'm gonna show you guys what she does, all right? So this is her setup, you guys. No matter where we put this potty and this chair, she brings it back here because up here is where we keep a few goodies. We got some candy up here, you know, some snacks and other things like that. And this morning, I kept seeing Kira with candy in her mouth, and I'm like, Kira, where did you get that? Like, no one gave you candy. Sure enough, when I came into the kitchen, I saw this setup and she showed me how she hops up. How did you figure that out? Up. Up, yeah, you go up. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, welcome back to the vlog. Make sure you guys go subscribe because if you ain't with the squad, you ain't popping. What do you mean, no? You don't want it? We're not ending the video, we're starting the video. What do you want to say? Say what's up, guys. We got you, fam. Yeah, welcome back to the Rush Fam. You guys, I can't show you Kira from the waist or face down because she has no clothes on the bottom half. Okay, she is butt naked from the waist down. And I was like, Keish, why isn't she wearing a diaper? Why isn't she wearing any pants? And Keish told me it's because she's trying to make her more aware of herself when she's going to the bathroom. Like if she goes in the diaper, it's like whatever, the diaper caught it. But if she has nothing on like this, then if she goes, she'll be really aware and she'll be like, okay, I just went to the bathroom. Next time I should go to the potty. Yes, baby? You need help? All right, let's go wash your face. All right, Kiki, let's wash your face. You ready? Scrub, scrub, scrub. So you guys, updates on Kira. She is getting so much more independent, y'all. As I just showed you, she is getting snacks on her own. She is washing her face, brushing her teeth, doing all the stuff that a toddler loves to do. But potty training is one of the major things we're trying to work on. Kiki, when are you gonna pee and poo in the potty? She does it sometimes though, you guys. She does it once in a while, but it's like 50-50. So we're, trying, we're working on it. It's a work in progress. Are you gonna go in the potty today? Yes. Yes? All right, she said yes. Towel. And you need your towel, I got you. Here you go. So you guys, we got so much stuff to talk about. Y'all seen at the start of this video, that was a quick clip of us getting COVID tests, y'all. That's right, we were getting tested. Not because we're sick. None of us are sick right now. We are actually about to be traveling, y'all. Huh? Oh my gosh. Kira has turned into a doctor, T-Squad. Lately, she's been obsessed with the doctor. And then, Kira, remember when the doctor came to our house yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, what did the doctor do? Yeah. <laughs> so we were getting our tests, y'all, because we are about to be traveling. I'm not gonna tell you guys where we're going, okay? It's not really a vacation, but it's a, it's a trip we gotta take as a family. And y'all are gonna have to stay tuned for the next vlog to find out where we're going as a family. A lot is happening in our lives, you guys. So much things we're gonna be sharing with y'all really soon. But what's today? Today is Sunday. So tomorrow, y'all, is the day before we leave. We are out of here. And like I said, stay tuned to find out where we're gonna be going. What's up, bruh? You just out here enjoying the swimming pool? What is it? What's in there? What is it, Nipsey? Get it. Get it. What is it, boy? What's in there? What is it? What? What is the shirt doing in there? Is that your shirt, Nipsey? Lately, I've been asking myself, who loves our swimming pool more, okay? Is it the kids, is it me, or is it Nipsey? I'm gonna let y'all decide. Let me know in the comments. What you doing, bruh? Nipsey, look, what's this? Come here, come here. 
<laughs> you want a water gun or you want your ball? You gotta learn how to dive, my guy. Oh my gosh, y'all. He's really trying to go for that water gun. Nipsey, I don't think you can get it. It's at the bottom. <laughs> Nipsey, come here. Ready, boy? Ready? Go, go. Let's see a big splash, girl. One, two, three. Oh! All right, buddy. You ready? Go! Go, Nipsey, go! Jump! Go! Nah, he still wants that water gun. I'm going to be honest with y'all, T-Squad. I still feel really young, right? I'm a young man. You know, I feel, I feel young. I feel youthful. But one thing that might be a little sign of me getting a tad bit older is some of the things that I like to do with my spare time now, okay? There's two things that I would say are at almost the top of my list in terms of things that make me happy that I'm doing when I'm chilling by myself, right? One of them is this, cleaning the swimming pool, okay? For some reason, cleaning the swimming pool it's just like very, very relaxing to me. It's like tranquil and it just puts me in a good mood. We got pool cleaners, you know, we got people who come and service the pool, but I just like doing it a little bit myself as well. The second thing that I do every single day that really puts me in a good mood and makes me feel like I'm getting older, I love watering my palm trees, all right? I'm gonna water them in a minute and I'm gonna show you guys how that process works. But those are the two things, y'all. Cleaning my pool and watering my palm trees. Let me know in the comments, are those like old man things that I'm doing? Are those like signs of getting older? Or am I tripping? Let me know in the comments. Summer here in Miami is super, super hot as I'm sure y'all could imagine. So we really just been enjoying our pool and vibing in the backyard. Hey, welcome to the vlog, girl. You know what? I'm very mad at my dad right now. Why? He did not call me to come down here in the pool. I'm just mad at you. <laughs> so y'all, life update as well. Actually, this is an update to tell y'all there is no update on this. Callie is still a daddy's girl, as y'all just heard. If I don't tell her that I'm going in the pool and she catches me in the pool, she's paging me on it. If I go on a bike ride and I don't tell her I was going on a bike ride, she's paging me on it. If I'm watching a movie and I don't tell you I'm watching a movie, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Anyways, Callie, what's up? How you been? Talk to T-Squad. Oh my gosh. My ears, I'm sorry for y'all ears. What's up, baby? You want me? Should I put the camera down and, and chill yeah. with you? Yeah? yeah. IT right, squad, so we about to enjoy the pool. Nipsey, jump in. There you go, bro. What do you want to do? You want to swim? You want to jump? Right there. Put the camera right there? Yes. I got to put the camera right there? Yes. You mean it? Yes. I have to? It's right there. All right, Missy. All right. Yeah. Right, we got to put the camera right there. All right, so as promised, here is the watering of the palm trees ritual. So when they added the palm trees to the backyard, y'all, you guys see they kept this ring around it. And this ring allows extra water to stay there when you water it. It's only gotta stay like that for a few months to make sure that they're super healthy and getting all the water they need. And yeah, you guys, this may sound or look boring to y'all, but this is one of my favorite things. I do about three minutes per tree per day so three times five, that's about 15 minutes per day. This is what it is, y'all. And I must say, it's doing good because look how healthy they look. They're super healthy. They're happy to be here and we're happy to have them here. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Is this old man behavior? Let me know. <laughs> several, several hours later. All right, y'all, so it is several, several hours later. Me and the girls swam for hours. I think Camaro was busy doing a gaming video. Camaro, mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up, how'd it go? Great. Yeah, but anyways, my bae is here with me now. I know y'all don't want to see a vlog without bae. So what's up, babe? <laughs> what's up, you guys? Um, So babe, you don't even know this because you, to be honest, guys, Keish did not even know that I started the vlog. Mm. Well, she started the vlog with the, uh, the COVID test and I picked the camera back up again today. So what I was gonna say is, babe, Yes. I was giving them a little bit of foreshadowing that we were doing the COVID tests for a trip 
Yeah. But I didn't tell them where we're going and I don't think we should tell them. But how do you feel about leaving? Because this is the first time. Okay, we left Miami since we've been here, but this is the first time like we're leaving the country. No, I'm lying. We left the country since we've been here. Yes, yeah, so we left the country once. But this feels different. This trip feels different. Yeah, it does. It, it almost feels kind of weird, to be honest. It um, feels very weird. Very we, weird. We've been out here for... Almost a year. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. We've been talking about it, and I do feel like it's kind of weird because... I don't know. Like We've never been away from home for this long. But, our new home. Yeah. So, so it's like... It's weird because this Miami became our became our new home, and now we're leaving our new home for next for a while. Yeah, but it's like you know we we're always gonna have a home in Toronto. We were getting ourselves set up here. Okay, babe, where do you think that they think that we're going? Are probably we going? A, probably a family vacation. I don't know. But I told them it's not a vacation. Okay, so then I don't know. Y'all, y'all leave it in the comments below where you guys think we're going. But yeah, like we've just been trying to get ourselves set up out here. Um, it's been a good move for us, business-wise, family-wise, and for the kids as well. Like not having those seasonal changes, avoiding the kids and their programs and whatever else. You know, Camaro can be in soccer all year round. Callie, same, whatever else she wants I to do. We can be in the backyard all yeah. year round. I want to be in tennis. Callie wants, Callie to, wants be to be in, in tennis, tennis again. Okay, babe, question. Yeah. We've been here for a year, almost a year. Almost a year. It'll Nine be a months. Year in November. It took some adjusting, mm -hmm. but do you feel like we're happier here than we were before? We already said that. We said so, that a like, few no vlogs ago. Definitely way happier here. Mm. I don't know. I feel like a, a, not like a clean start, but in a way, it's a clean start. She started pouring. She started pouring. She started pouring, bro. Look at the pool. Yeah, you guys can see that there. I don't know. I've, I've never lived anywhere else besides Toronto, so I've always wanted to live somewhere else and we've been talking about it for years and years now. I don't know. I feel like it's it's been really good for us and I'm just happy to see, you know, what's going to happen in the next few years, but this is this is what it is, so. I love seeing my wife happy. happy. Yeah. I like seeing, obviously, my whole family happy, but like, as a husband, you want to see your wife happy Yeah. and you're so much happier here. But anyways, guys, we're not going to dwell on Miami right now because we are leaving for a bit. So drop a comment where you think we're going. We're leaving for a little while. We will be back. And we got to get ready because tomorrow's our last day before tomorrow's our trip. Tomorrow's the last day. I feel like we always try to cram everything that's lingering before we leave. Last minute. And it minute. just ends up being hectic. Something's going to get left out. Why are we, we have, like this? I don't know. Why are we like this? But it's also not our fault. Like, furniture deliveries have been so delayed. Mm -hmm. I know we're going to receive some stuff while we're gone, but we have everything under control and, you know, we have things in place to make sure that our stuff doesn't get damaged outside in the rain. It's pouring. pouring. <laughs> it's pouring, it's pouring. It's pouring. <laughs> but yeah, we're just having a snack out here. We're just vibing. Trey's going to make dinner tonight, y'all. And listen, so he made... He we made dinner last weekend, last Sunday. Mm -hmm. We always try to make a few meals here and there. We do order a lot, but on Sundays we try to, you know, make a meal and spend time together as a family. And Trey made dinner last weekend. And ever since then, Kira always says, Daddy, you're the best, best cook. <laughs> she so, loved this so much. She tries to say you're the best. Like she say, tries yeah. to tell whoever that they're the best. So you said, what am I the best at? And she goes, Daddy, you're the best, best cook, cook ever since you made that meal. And she keeps saying it. like. <laughs> and she... I'm the best driver. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Trey's going to throw it down in a few hours for dinner. We're just having a little Let's bit of go. snacks and stuff, but we're definitely going to show you guys what's Trey's go-to meal. He absolutely kills it every time he makes it, and yes, the kids sir. love it. So, we had a request for Daddy Chef tonight, so... Uh -huh. We're gonna bring you guys in on that and show you guys what Trey be throwing it down. I mean, you may not make it like him, but you know, we'll show you what we get down to. Let's get it. <laughs> Longer than you would think. T Squad, there's an emergency happening. This is like three, four hours later than the last clip. Babe, tell them what happened. Trey got stung by either a wasp or some kind of mm -mm. fly with a stinger. I don't know what it was. It was a horse I, fly. I didn't see it. it was a horse fly. Look it up. It was a horse fly, babe. Okay, well, all of a sudden his back is welting up. I tried to squeeze out whatever venom I could, but... How much times did I get bit? Like five, five times. times. You see it on my arm too? Yes. Wow. You gotta call the ambulance. So I was trying to squeeze out... <laughs> I say, call, call the, the ambulance. ambulance. Call the ambulance. <laughs> I'm trying to squeeze out what I can to find a stinger or something, but there's no stinger. He has one, two, three, four. Is there any more? 
I feel one right here. I don't know. In the oh yeah yeah sorry that's four yeah that's I got four. four bites. Four bites. I got bit four times. Four Yo, times. so listen, my homie pulled up on me. Did you bring this with you, fam? No, it wasn't me. Babe, we've been here almost a year. I never got bit once. All of a sudden tonight, I got five bites. And it's like, it's, 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 it's almost happened? like because they know they bit you, they're biting you over and over again. So, so I'm sweet after all. My blood is sweet after all. So I'm trying to put some like after bite bee sting something on him because. They're swelling up very fast. Good thing I have a so. nurse or a doctor for a wife. Y'all know, in a past life, Keisha was a doctor. She quickly backed out the medicine. What is that, babe? It's bee sting after bite. This one's running out pretty quick, so I need you to stay still. All right. So I can get the last one. But it's crazy, guys. No cap. It bit me the first time, and I felt it. And I'm like, I didn't scream or nothing, but I was like, yo, what the heck? And I told Camaro, yo, check my back. Someone just bit me. He looked and he's like, it's on you. Dad, it's on you. So he whacked it. I'm like, whatever, it's probably just a bee or something. Literally 30 seconds later, this same horse fly bit me again and again and again and it keeps coming for me. Bruh, we've been here nine months. I never got stung by nothing or bit by nothing. So All my of a sudden only tonight. recommendation is stay out the water for at least 10 minutes so the afterbite can get into the sting so that it's somewhat taken care of and that you're not reopening the swelling because one of them looks really big and I don't want to go back concerned. in the water. I know you do, but for now, just chill. Am I going to be okay? You're going to be okay. We got to go to the hospital? Yeah. No. No? I don't, I don't think so. I'm tripping. I got, I, you. I got you. I'm not in pain right now, y'all. It hurt when it bit me, but I'm tough, so I was like, whatever. But then it keeps coming back for more. Like, I guess, I guess I'm sweet after all, y'all. We always say that Keisha got the sweet blood, cause usually the mosquitoes go for her. But all of a sudden, these flies, horse flies, are coming for me. Guess how much time later? All right, T Squad. It's the next day. It's actually the next night. <laughs> I got, we got a break out of this trend for real, but long story short, we had a friend come over. We ended up having fun and we just ended up ordering pizza because Trey's like, you know, my friend about to come over. I'm gonna be stuck cooking in the kitchen. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of true, you know? So we had a friend over. We had to entertain our guests. You know, we're spending time as a family with our friend. I made sure Trey kept his promise because I myself am craving this meal that he makes. So I'm like, before we leave, babe, you gotta make that meal. Like, I don't care no matter what. We had errands to run, and the whole time on the errands, I'm like, do you have everything you need? Do you need ingredients? Do we need to stop? Because it's happening. I don't care what time it is, you're making that meal. The process has already kind of started. Chef Trey, daddy in the kitchen. Okay. Throwing it down. Throwing Let's it go. down. Who's the best, best cook? Best, best cook of <laughs> daddy. Here are the sauces that Trey is about to use. So I guess you're getting the idea here. What do we have here, sir? So we got some crispy bacon that is gonna turn into like bacon crumbles. It's gonna like, yo, y'all just gonna have to see the end result. This is my infamous bacon pasta with ground turkey, different sauce. Oh man, I don't know. I don't wanna like big up myself, but it's busted. It, it's, it's bomb, it's, it's yeah. bomb. So we're gonna let you get into whatever you're doing here. We also got some pancetta. I recommended it for this dish. He usually doesn't use that, but I wanna see how it's gonna turn out because- I think it's a good idea. It is a good idea, right? This is at the preparation stage. When we come back, I ain't gonna talk too much. Trey's gonna take it away, so yeah. Okay, while we wait for dinner, Callie's hairdresser called me and she's like, Keisha, today, you gotta go to Krispy Kreme and get the carnival donuts. And I was like, why? Like, check, I'm gonna send you a picture. Yeah. We have this thing going on. Like, whenever Krispy Kreme has something new, we gotta get it. Krispy Kreme has some mm. carnival donuts. Yes, a few have been eaten. We've had this box for like a day, and I feel like if we don't eat them soon, they're gonna have to get thrown out. Look how quick Camaro came, y'all. Can I have this one? Dinner's about to be ready. You cannot have a donut. We're just taste testing. We're just taste testing. Taste testing. Trust me, I don't want to ruin the space that I have for the special mm -hmm. meal. So this one's cotton candy. Oh, the cover bite. Oh. Oh my gosh, you didn't have to act like that. <laughs> <laughs> so extra. Cover down the bite. Mm -mm. Okay, that one actually tastes like um, cotton candy. I like the pink cream more than the donut. Is that weird? Mm -hmm. Next we have caramel popcorn. Ooh, it's probably stale. Come around, why are you trying to ruin my vibe? Give me a piece, give me a piece. <laughs> oh, it's probably stale, but you want a piece? Give me a piece. All right, taste test number two. <gasps> oh, I gotta try it, please, please. Can I try, can I try, please? I don't like this one at all. Let me try. Don't take a big bite like last time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he does it anyways. It's soggy. All right, last one. I think it's candy apple. I, I, it I has have a little pretzel in it. The pretzel is soft. Ew. 
So it's like, yeah, it's like, no, it's caramel candy apple. Yeah, apple in the middle, like apple flavored cream in the middle. Apple flavored cream in the middle. Mmm. So curious to the rest of mine. Mmm. Have what? You already have one, you just baited yourself out. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. that you was... just told me it's so good. <laughs> the best tasting one is the caramel candy apple, like hands Wait, down. Can I get some of the icing? No. <laughs> Camaro will go overboard if you don't watch him. I don't know if you guys are into Krispy Kreme, but oh, oh. I'm, I'm good with an original glaze, maybe a, a pink strawberry, what is it, strawberry sprinkle or chocolate sprinkle, I'm good with that. These ones are all the filling and all this extra stuff. One, it's too sweet for me. Two, but I, I like perfect. the idea. I like the idea of like, you know, different flavors and you know, switching it up from the regular. What would you rate it? A billion out of 10. Y'all, should me and Camaro start an ASMR channel? A foodie channel? I don't really like Because Camaro likes to eat everything. Fine. I'm not, I'm but, not but saying I'm not you have, I'm not saying you But I'm not watching it. it. You'll make the videos, but you won't watch it. Yeah. It's I all good. No, ain't nobody forcing you. I'm just asking. Can I please finish it? No, Camaro. Bruh. I mean all right, so babe, I'm not going to front and pretend like I'm like always cooking. I don't cook that often. And I'm not some big chef or nothing. But listen. If you don't chop up and put in your own veggies into your food, you are not a cook. You are That's not a chef. 100% true. Right? Okay, good. You need onion at the bare minimum. Onion in the oil to give it that flavor. 100%. Facts. And seasoning. Listen. Yes. Okay, y'all need to season your food, okay? Because, yo, you have to, bro. You have to. You have to. Good job. Yeah. Look at you giving out lessons. Yeah, you have to season your food. You don't want no unseasoned food and it just tastes bland. We don't want that, right, babe? No, we don't. He's learned, he's learned very well, y'all. He's teaching now. Oh, hey! How are you? We need to take those braids out, girl. You can let me take them out? No. Yes. Nope, nope, nope. With her hair, she's, she's gotten a lot better lately, so don't get me wrong, but Kira is the new menace when it comes to not wanting to do her hair. But her hair, her hair is so easy to do because she doesn't have as much as Callie right now. Tonight, we're taking these braids out, okay? Yes. <sighs> yes, you guys heard that. She agreed. Daddy. You want daddy to do it? Yes. Daddy's making your favorite meal. You want me to do it? What is daddy the best at? Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what am I what am I best at? Daddy. <laughs> I'm the best daddy. Da daddy cook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And drive. And mommy can drive. I told you guys. I told you. Can I be honest though? Yeah. I feel like she has it backwards. You're a great driver. I'm a pretty good cook. But I feel like you're a better cook and I'm a better driver. It's because I made that one meal that she loves. <laughs> yeah. The same meal I'm making now. I made mm -hmm. it for her and she won't stop talking about me cooking now. Yeah. Hey, yeah. All right, you guys. So another thing that we have to do to prepare for our trip since we are bringing the dogs, this is actually Kane's first time traveling. So I had to buy him this, um, a portable dog crate. Cause I don't know if he's gonna be nervous or if he's gonna be scared. It's honestly his first time traveling. He has come in the car a few times, but as far as flying in an airplane, he is absolutely new to this. Nipsey has flown a few times, but not Kane. So I got Kane this portable crate just to keep him settled and sitting somewhere. Because if I don't have this, he's going to be trying to jump everywhere. And then two, I also got Kane some calming treats. It's like, a, it's like CBD for dogs. And it's supposed to really calm him down and help him relax. Before we fly, he's supposed to have it like 30 minutes before. So I really hope it works. I'll let you guys know how that goes. But um, I'm going to open this up, put it together. And then we're going to test it out and see if it fits. If Kane fits, first of all, and second of all, if he likes it. Um, but I guess he doesn't really have a choice, so, yeah. Hello. Kane, where are you? Kane, boy. Okay, that's it. Wow. He can stay in this at the house too, babe. I just it's a good size, but my only issue is I have to undo it. Like I can't, I can't carry him. This is the smallest one they have. Wait a minute. Kane, come here, boy. You wanna go in? He's like, go where? Ugh. Okay. Okay. Stay. Stay. Ah, ah, ah. Stay. Stay. Okay. He has, he has a lot of headroom. Sit. Ah, ah. Stay. That's a good size. Good boy. Stay. You know, you really gotta test it out. Kane. 
It's okay. That's a good size, babe. He's standing without crouching. All right, babe. So yeah, we made a little bit of a mess today, you know what I'm saying? That's just how it goes. We, we worry about that after, but babe, this is probably my favorite part. This is, the, this is the meal right here, okay? The sauce, it's all in the sauce. But when you put the sauce in the pasta, oh my gosh. Stir that bad boy up. Come, come in close, babe, come get this. <laughs> Ooh. You made it with elbows today. Last time you made it with penne, right? Yeah, I thought I'd switch it up, you know? Yeah. I need you to open this and you put some stuff in there. I can help you with that. What's the stuff you want to put in? I want to put on my puppets, my wallet, and I have the stuff for my dolls. That's what you're packing, not clothes and shoes? Better figure it out. Excuse you? No, you better figure it out. Suck it up, buttercup. What? Okay, and he got plating skills. Ooh, okay. We, we throw the, the fresh Parmesan on there. Right? That's you and me. Trying to fat me up. I see what's going on here. <laughs> I see what's going on. I was like, I want a lot. Ugh. It smells so good. Yeah, like no cap. No cap, it smells so good. Here's yours. Thank you. <laughs> she nodded her head. Yep, thank you. I gotta keep her distracted because her braids are coming out today. Do you want cheese on yours? Cheese. Sprinkle it. Sprinkle it. <laughs> She's like, sprinkle <laughs> it. <laughs> want me to sprinkle it for you? Mm. Is there more of this? Yeah. Like my <laughs> plate's pretty big, but last time, last time this one big plate filled me. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Damn, babe, how did you come up with this? This was a creation that just came to me one time. I'm like, what? What, what is pasta missing? And I was like, yo. And I just came up with my own concoction, my own recipe, and I perfected it. I mean, this is probably my 10th time making it. First time it was pretty good, but like, as time went on, I kind of just kept adding different seasoning, different stuff to it, and it got better and better. But I also feel like you took some of your favorite pastas that you order, yes. and you put your own spin on it, because right. he usually gets like a bacon carbonara that usually has egg or stuff like that. Obviously he didn't add the egg, we put like ground turkey, or he put ground turkey some veggies, some cheese, but I don't know, man. It comes out bomb every time. Anyway, Kali, you gonna come eat dinner? How is it, Camaro? So good, I need more parm parmesan. Parmesan. All right, y'all, so we're gonna finish eating up this dinner, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We will be traveling tomorrow, so we hope you guys are doing well, you guys are safe. Thanks for coming back and watching another vlog on The Rush Fam. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up and subscribe because if you win with the squad, you, you ain't popping! Okay. 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 Kiki! You ain't popping! Kiki got shook. She was not expecting that. Sorry, Kiki. She got shook. She blamed me. She was stopped that. Yeah, you see me. honestly, if you guys watch it again, she's like, Oh man. All right, you guys. We love you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Daddy.